So you have some parameters when you hit the generate plot, it will go to ECG, send an API post uh, request with the parameters that wouldn't work. Um, it was trying to generate a separate um, chart in a separate uh, a HTML. And now we put them back to give so that should be the index HTML now in in a Python code we should be calling index HTML image re redirect no so we don't want to redirect we want to stay on the same page why don't we have generate ECG plot okay we'll need JSON 5 from flask instead of redirect so that error message is gone but we still have the generate plot it keeps also saying that i do not need javascript for whatever reason did a few updates you can also render plot image directly in the same page using flanks and ginger so i think we okay using json file so okay using this code it's just that uh, right so it looks like you're trying to integrate both approaches sending json as a file yes we need to get rid of some stuff i think we might need javascript uh, later can we modify the whole code to include a script js uh, let's see what it does can use javascript jquery simplicity handle the submissions and update the image on the page without requiring full page refresh that's that's good yeah we don't want full page request a uh, refresh right now it's updating all the files it says all the code here remains the same uh, I'm not sure I have that bit. Okay, we have a JavaScript as well, whatever that does. Let's just check that we have the correct file. The previous one wasn't working at all, so might as well get rid of it. Uh, HTML. Okay, we can get rid of that copy. Yep, that looks okay-ish. We have 54 lines we have 40 i assume it knows we only have one file right so we're using json file that's great why are we saving figure what's the alternative to saving the figure instead of saying figure you can convert the plot directly to base 64 string using matplotlib print figure method what did we use for previous applications so far we have the ecg uh, signal generator it's working quite well so we do like that That was using ECG gen was using numpy into json is it possible not to save the figure to file at all saves the figure to bytes eye or buffer in memory save the figure code the buffer Call this the plot not saved to a file on disk, but this directly converted to base64 string. Everything happens in memory. Memory in the browser? No. <laughs> to the server. So I'm the server. So it is saving to file. When generating a plot <laughs> using the approach I described. The plot is not saved uh, to a physical, well, instead temporarily stored in servers RAM, but I don't want to use RAM. 
Do I want to use RAM? The binary read is then encoded into 64, sent to the client browser for display. Is it possible to render on the client's side? Server load, it can reduce the load of the server. Allows real-time interaction. That's nice. Not all browsers or devices may support the required, required technologies. So, so yes, yeah, so there's generally a compromise between me doing more stuff on the server, which I have to pay electricity for, or using your browser. So you pay the electricity bill. So, <laughs> guess <laughs> what my first choice would be. Okay, so we're processing on the client side. Yeah, so this is uh, more similar to the previous application that we had. Okay, can you, with processing on the client side, generate HTML. We'll do some processing on the server and some on the client's side. All the maths, the calculation, should be done on the server and rendering of the chart could be done in the browser using JavaScript. Yes, yeah, so the Flask application is, um, the Python script is using JSON, it's generating the data, sending it to the client side and JavaScript then uh, do, does all the plotting. It's using both Plotly, jQuery, uh, JavaScript, that's fine. Okay, let's update this. Might as well get rid of it. So eventually it will be similar to this application, except that we will have the different components of the ECG waveform labeled. Now for different colors or just dots on the peaks and troughs for the PQRST. It should look like, let's close this look something like that no idea what happened there but there is some noise variability in it obviously still labeling and yeah, those are a bit off so we'll have to correct them later okay so we can uh, flask server handle the ecg data generation and processing that's right Next HTML. Ooh, no, 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 no. Wait a second. What have changed this file? Okay, we'll save that. Let's check if it's working again. Right, that's the working thing. Now, in the app application, this should be just a template. There's no major errors here. HTML, no major errors there. JavaScript needs to be 25 lines of code. Now it's 35. Okay, let's see if we run this. Okay, so first, let's see if we have the plot. Now that's the form. That's the plot. You can barely see it. It's almost not there. We'll make it visible in a sec. Generate ECG gets a 500 there. All right, this is why. So we're essentially missing calculations in there. But it's okay, they can stop generating. That's the actual problem is here. They are integers already, aren't they? It doesn't really matter because we don't have the calculation. The calculation should be in this Python code. Okay, we have the code in here that does the calculation. We have the ECG simulate duration sampling rate. 
heart rate, so on and so forth. That's nice. We also need to do processing. Can we combine the current Python script with this one? So this is the code that we actually want to use. It uh, can integrate processing from the provide script into the fast cap then return the process data client side for plotting the client side will be responsible for rendering the plot based on the process data sent to the server seem legit that's good yeah one of those is variable as variables as well but we can do it later we still haven't got anything working and why do I have a feeling something is still missing? Process, that's right. Yeah, there's this big four. For every R peak to this, removing duplicate. I don't think that's actually a problem, so maybe it's okay that it... Uh, Got rid of it. Twenty seven fifty four. Okay, this would not work. Right, we need to adjust the JavaScript the success function. What? This is success function. Doesn't sound like a good name. This is. No, it says success. What? What's that all about? Okay, JavaScript. We have a new JavaScript. It used to be 34 lines. That's like 75. That makes more sense. So we're using both um, the JavaScript that we have. And then JavaScript from jQuery and JavaScript from Plotly. And I don't think the HTML changed much anyway. We had 32. Now we have 34. That's okay. And let's run the app again. Yes, do not, not, do not use in production. Game okay, still not generating. Why? There's something with the variables that is out of proportion or something. Don't quite understand what's this here all about the length value is not an integer okay that should be a simple fix shouldn't it well now python code right wait ceiling must be uh, they're rounding it upward towards the ceiling then in generate ECG duration float integer integer right round up the duration to the nearest integer okay still weird it would not work as it is but typically occurs the problem serialized so we need to serialize before we turn into JSON objects uh, right cousin blah 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 so it's turning it to list. We actually want to get rid of those uh, magic numbers, turn them into variables, so you can select them on the as the uh, input parameters. But for now, convert numpy right to list. Um, rest of the code data ECG to list. Isn't that the same? Why am I converting twice? 
then maybe it's not the same I can just can't see the difference <laughs> and the other thing we need to update the styles CSS because you're trying to apply unary negative operator to at least replace this line why are we inverting stuff anyway why are we why negative peaks for Q and S why do we need to invert just find the negative peaks to understand why we need to do it the complete that that part will be blah 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 oh come on attempting to convert list to at least again <laughs> Yeah, I was just remove to list in the line point to list to list like this. We should have to list only once, I think. We have a twice segment ECG to list. And surely CG is also to list. We had it to begin with, so to list, to list, to list. Still getting an error. It's a long one. Trace back, trace back, back. Uh, see, because there's not be numpy in 64 type in your data, JSON doesn't know how to handle this data. Yeah, we had similar problems before. You need to convert the numpy integers to Python native integer type before passing them to JSON file. Hey, data points. Append point. Do we need to do all this? Point, point, point data points in JSON file data come on give me something okay now it's working Whew. yeah whatever heart rate let's just say we hit three Ugh. why why is three too small How about four Three shouldn't be too small. Okay, keep it for whatever. Four. This can be two fifty. We don't need one thousand or whatever it was. Okay. Labeling is not great, is it? You don't convert float man to integer, but it's not. There was a glitch there in the. Uh, yeah, over there. Yeah, what's up with that? That's not great. I don't know why there's so many of these uh, labels in the caption. Can we have the plot displayed and labeled as soon as we load the page the first time? Also, can we have the chart ECG plot updated when the values, input values, are changed by the user? Chat modifying the JavaScript and HTML. Is this the whole code? No. Is it? Date. Head event listener. This can be the whole plot. JavaScript. 75 lines. Script.js. This is not the whole code. Can possibly be 75 lines. This one looks like 20 or 30 or so. Let's save that in HTML. The form 
I've changed. I just gave it the name, ID. It's already had an ID. Yeah, label ID. Anyway, we need this. That's for sure. Why is it not showing a chat? Chat is not showing. All oh, right, because something is missing. It's not the whole code. Come on. Provide the JavaScript code is complete and should work when your case will update. It's usually as soon as the web page loads and also whenever it uses blah blah blah. There are no errors in console, but the chart is not displaying anything anymore. There's nothing to troubleshoot. It was doing it a second ago. Nothing to troubleshoot. It was doing it with the previous JSON script. Come on, this is not it. Getting confused. Oh, come on. Okay. It's now getting all mixed up. 